we are again in the museum. Now, you might not be aware of one of the greatest events in Roman history, and there's a movie out by it right now. It's the movie Pompeii. Pompeii was kind of like the Mardi Gras of the day. People could go there and engage in all kinds of ungodly behavior. Take a look at that picture. It's a pagan phallic symbol representing, listen to me now, a place where you could go and enjoy all kinds of lascivious acts, very similar to the Mardi Gras today. Can I say something to you about the movie Pompeii? Pliny, at the very beginning of that movie, talks about the people that died there because there was an eruption there, and that eruption was caused by Mount Vesuvius. And it was uh, an event that was recorded in Roughly 70 A.D. Now, another event is recorded in the Bible that happened in 70 A.D., and that's the destruction of the Jewish temple and the scattering of all the Jews around the world. That happened in 70 A.D. Now, listen to me. Jesus, in Matthew 24, in Luke chapter 21, made it very clear that the Jewish people would be scattered in all the world, my friends, and their temple would be destroyed. There would not be one rock, one stone left upon another that would not be thrown down or cast to the ground. Did you you know that Titus did that in 70 AD? Titus, his father, sent him there because his father was a Roman emperor and he sent the general Titus, his son, to go there and to lay waste to the people of Israel. My friends, that happened in 70 AD. It took a whole year. Josephus, Josephus, the historian, talks about that. Can I add what happened to Titus after he, my friends, conquered the nation of Israel and scattered the Jews all around the world, just like Jesus said would happen. His army, my friends, they went to celebrate. And where did they go? They went to Pompeii, my friends, where they were buried there by Mount Vesuvius. Listen to me very carefully. There's a promise in Genesis 12, and it says this, I will bless them that bless Israel, and I will curse them that curse Israel. Listen to me. Titus talks about his broken heart towards many of the soldiers that went to Pompeii to celebrate and enjoy a Mardi Gras type of lascivious lifestyle. And my friends, they were all buried there. The Bible says, you'll reap what you sow. Come join us. Lots of great stories here. Where? At Steelton Bible Chapel, where we celebrate the real stories mentioned in the Bible.